In this video, I'll show you two different ways to calculate the beta of a portfolio in Excel. Beta is a measure of the volatility of a portfolio compared to the market as a whole. In our example, we have the returns of stocks A and B over the course of a year. We also have the returns of the market overall. You can think of this as reflecting an index such as the S&P 500 or the FTSE. We've also calculated the portfolio returns for each month by simply taking the weight in stock A, multiplying this by the return of stock A in that month, and then adding the weight in stock B and multiplying this by stock B's return in that month. We've also added absolute references to the weights to ensure that these remain static and then drag this formula down to give the returns for the remaining months. We'll firstly cover how to use these figures to calculate the beta of the portfolio manually, and then I'll show you how to calculate the beta automatically too. The beta can be calculated by dividing the covariance of the portfolio's returns and the market returns by the variance of the market returns. Therefore, by knowing the covariance and variance, we can find the beta of the portfolio. We can calculate the variance of the markets by using the var.s function, which returns the variance of a sample. So we type equals var.s and then select the market returns. Therefore, the variance is 0.0387%. To calculate the covariance, we type equals covariance.s and firstly select the returns on the market followed by the returns on the portfolio. Therefore, the covariance is 0.0054%. Now, it doesn't matter which array you select first. It will give you the same answer either way. To calculate the beta, as per the formula, we first take the covariance and then divide the variance. So our beta is 0.14. This means that when the market rises by 1%, the portfolio rises by 0.14%, and when the market drops by 1%, the portfolio falls by 0.14%. The second way of calculating beta is by using a regression. To do this, we need a special add-in, which we can find by going to File, Options, Add-ins, Manage Excel Add-ins, and then click Go. Ensure that the analysis tool pack is checked and click OK. To find the regression tool, go into the data tab, click data analysis, select regression and then click OK. For the Y values, we'll select the portfolio returns, which are cells E7 to E19. And for the X values, we'll select the returns on the market, so F7 to F19. We can tick labels and then I will select cell H8 in this sheet as my output range. As you can see, Excel has returned a lot of data. For the sake of this video, the only output we need to focus on is the coefficient of the market return, which is 0.14. This is the exact same value returned by our manual beta calculation earlier. Therefore, today we've covered two different ways to calculate beta in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.